The stones. Questions. Yeah. What Tell us about the stones. Worth waiting for? Best. What? Worth waiting for? Well, it's the best thing, actually. It has to be, doesn't it? You know, 43 years of me, 50 years of them. Okay, we finally come together, yeah, and we're on the same page at last. Isn't that brilliant? It's amazing. How do they rank among the 43 years of that well, you've had here at Glastonbury? I mean, the whole thing has to be the best moment. Um, I mean, without a shadow of doubt. Um, it's the whole razzmatazz and the whole occasion, you know what I mean? Of us two finally going together at long last. I might have proved myself to them. I mean, we were just a sort of bunch of hippies you know, doing a show that was neither here nor there, you know what I mean? It wasn't a Rolling Stones set up, was it? And um, I mean, there's no American management or anything. I mean, we're not managed by anyone. <laughs> so, 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 so we managed ourselves. You know, I mean, there's no sales pitch, there's no PR pitches or anything. And, and it wasn't quite the right match for the Stones, really. Not until now. So it's a great moment. Yeah. Because musically, they're absolutely brilliant, too, aren't they? Absolutely brilliant. So tell us personally, after such a long time of trying to get them, what did it mean to you to see them on stage last well, yeah, night at such a reception? <laughs> yeah, but that wasn't the whole purpose of the festival, to, so trying to get the stone, you know what I mean? But you, do, you bought, <laughs> but you've wanted them for a long time. Yeah, but we've been running a show here for 43 years, and we've done our own thing, and it just works. You know, people love what we do. Uh, and, uh, and But the stones are obviously on... on, on I mean, they're very high on the wish list, and um, it took a long time. I, mean, I was making phone calls to people that didn't seem to have any authority. So I was probably speaking to the wrong chap or somewhere, or, or to the wrong girl, but, but finally it all came together. I think the Stones wanted to be here, didn't they? That was the point. And so the fact they wanted to be here, I mean, we've always wanted them. Uh, uh, I mean, obviously, you know. I mean, like, so you two, or or, or some, what's a Radiohead, or or, or, or Oasis, all those headlining bands. I mean, there's only about ten of them out there. Okay, <laughs> and, and so the Stones were obviously top of the ten, basically. So who's left? So I'm actually thrilled with the set. Was the show was absolutely brilliant done, uh, 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 after brilliantly done, and, and just. Mick Jagger's energy, you know, leading that band with oh, it's such a passion and with so much skill, it was absolutely amazing. And seeing him moving, you know, I was standing on the side looking down, uh, I was looking down at him from, uh, from a height, you know, I don't see anything like you. Who else is on that? Oh, the energy that, that goes into that success of that band is absolutely unbelievable. And it was really quite mind-boggling to think that he can go like that at his age. I mean, I'm quite a bit older, but I can go like that. <laughs> and I can keep going. <laughs> Not that pace, though. Who's left it's, on your list? It's in his arms and his movement. And he's going for it as if it... as if his life depended on it, you know what I mean? Do we know how many people? So much around? energy. Do we Sorry, yeah, let's talk about something else. Do we, well, do we, know, <laughs> well, do we know how many people? A hundred thousand. A hundred thousand. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure. And it wasn't dangerous. Yeah. There's no mud to slide on or anything. But the weather was perfect. And we've got another day today, of course. We've got Mumford's coming up later on today. Fantastic. Well. How, how would you describe the festival so, say, so I far? Kenny Rogers. Uh, what? How would you describe well, the festival so well, far? I say this every year, and it's really, really boring, but, uh, but, uh, but it is actually true. But it really is the best festival that we've ever done. I mean, without a shadow of a doubt. I agree with that. Yeah. Did Prince Harry enjoy so? I think no, I do. I uh, agree. Yeah. Oh, you agree? Thank you very much. Did Prince Harry enjoy it? Huh? Oh, the weather was perfect after the rain on Thursday night. Yeah, Prince Harry was great. I see. I mean, I recommended that he should go through the night because the nightlife is what that's something really all about. I mean, it's not really. I was three o'clock in the afternoon. You won't get it, will you? Four or five, six o'clock in the evening. You won't get it. And so I told him to um, get his his taxi driver to come back at five in the morning. <laughs> so he has some, uh, and do you know what? He lasted until four in the morning. That's good, wasn't it? Very good. Uh, so you saw all the best stuff.
And he had lots of mates with him, and, uh, and his friends were all for having a good time, I think. I, I, I mean, they didn't want to make a formal thing of being here or anything. So that's what they did. Isn't that brilliant? Brilliant. Mm. Did you have a drink with him anywhere? Until four in the morning. What? Did you manage to go, go and grab a drink with him anywhere? <laughs> Meet up no, with him in I the late bar? I don't actually drink at the moment because um, I don't drink for two months before the festival because that's my head in. So. But I need to be sharp with anything. I mean, I, I, I've got, I'm, I've got to make the best of the brain that, uh, that, was, that I've been born with. I can't, I can't suddenly blow it to pieces with alcohol. Otherwise, I'd be useless. I? But did you manage to meet? So up I with didn't him? have a drink with him. And I, as I don't drink until Tuesday. <laughs> That's my first drink. <laughs> it might be a bit of champagne, actually. Mm. Do you know where Harry went? Do you know I, I don't know where he went. No. No, he left it at four o'clock though. So, so Daddy was stopped he watching the nice. Stones? What? Did he watch the Stones? I, mean, I was walking around. Oh, he did, yeah. Yeah. I was walking around the site until four o'clock myself, and uh, I don't know about two hours sleep because I love going out there and going to the underground piano bar in, and the Stromerville and all that stuff. You know, Shangri-La and Block Nine, the Common. I the think was brilliant this year, the ball ring. It was absolutely amazing. At 3 o'clock this morning, it was so amazing. Absolutely brilliant. Who's um, left on your wish list? Who what? Who's left on your West wish list? Well, I know it's difficult, isn't it? I mean, how, how do you top the stones? Oh, do you know what? We've still got three headliners for next year, though. So that's pretty good, isn't it? I hope so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can it be as good as the stones? I've got them already. You've got them already booked? Uh, we have got our three headliners, yeah. Yeah. Any hints? Any hints? No. Go on, you always give me a hint. <laughs> no, it's always a nice secret, isn't it? But that's the fun of it. But no, we always sell the tickets before we announce any of the bands. Mm. Were they your three um, first that's choices? Possible. What? Were they your three first choices? <laughs> There's not much left, is there? <laughs> Bear in mind you start with ten. Or <laughs> maybe a dozen headliner potentials. Mm -hmm. uh, um, so we're running out of headliners, but yeah, we got the last three <laughs> <laughs> for next year. And I'm one of them a veteran in the league of the stuff. Uh, 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 ever so slightly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's one of them getting back together again. Today. <laughs> no, <laughs> both no. rhymes with Ethelin. <laughs> <laughs> no, not going down this road. No, okay, no it's going to be good though. And of course, for the sun this year, I think we're. It will be quite popular again next year, I think, won't we? Oh, yes. Yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah. I hope so, anyway. Have there, and, been, um, sorry. Yeah, how what? have there been any particular highlights uh, uh, for you personally here? Of well, there's lots of other things, you know, getting Albus back and all that sort of stuff, and, and Stevie Winwood, all, all those nice little things that, that appeal to my generation. You know. uh, I, I always like to get a bit of that going on. I've got Kenny Rogers this afternoon as well. Oh, that's all a bit dated though, isn't it, for the rest of the world, but it suits me. <laughs> Are you doing Kenny Rogers or Bruce Forsyth though, as they clash? Uh, yeah, I'm going for Kenny, actually. Okay. <laughs> 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 Does Bruce Forsyth know <laughs> that? <laughs> Sorry, ask me a difficult question. <laughs> 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 that's an easy one. <laughs> uh, you were well, seeing karaoke at one point, any danger of you appearing on one of the stages? No, I didn't do karaoke, so I was singing a song. Right. I was singing. Uh, 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 I'm singing "Suspicious Minds." Were you there? We, we had someone there, but I wasn't there personally. No, no was I? Uh, yeah, I wasn't. What? Well, you're in tune. Uh, yeah, I was in tune. I don't like Stevie Wonder. I went on with with Stevie Wonder a few years ago. I didn't have the earpiece. I couldn't hear the uh, the key. You see, uh, but they were all singing with their earpieces in. Uh, and so when I started singing, uh, and, and the Stevie turned around the band and he said. He said, let's do it in C minor, because that's where I was. So he changed the tune. There we go, there's the... And here's the microphone. The microphone. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can sing in tune, seriously. It's for the press to sing. And it's on the... Um, it's is that on the YouTube or something, I think? I expect so. Yeah. Okay. Did, did you like no singing? No. Not really, no. no, no. Did you catch the band. Bill Wyman as well, by any chance? What? Did you manage no, to catch... I didn't see the others. I just saw Mick Jagger there, so... Okay. No, no, Bill, Bill's played on the Friday night in an acoustic stage. Oh, yes, I was over there for that. You, you saw oh, that? Yes, I was. Exactly. How do you know? 
Oh, because I was there. Oh, I see, right. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. Actually, it was a good band, wasn't it? It's a fantastic band. I don't know what Bill did do all day. He never does. Band, he never does. Yeah, but the band as a mm. whole was really good. Yeah, I went over for that. Yeah, that's true. Last couple then. Uh, are you okay? Mike. Sorry, what, what did Mick Jagger say to you afterwards? Did he thank you for getting what was his reaction? Well, he said thank you on, uh, on stage, didn't he? Did he say anything to you afterwards? No. Oh, I saw it BBC this morning, yeah, actually. Right. <laughs> I didn't know he said that because I couldn't hear it on the stage. But, um, but no, uh, um, I mean, we were very polite.